It was a dreadful day on the island of Sodor. After Sir Topham Hatt, the controller of the railway, increased the rent, the engines fussed in the sheds. Just then, the fat controller arrived to the sheds. Sir, Gordon spoke up, the increased tax rates are just, just... Disgraceful. Disgusting. Despicable. I understand that you three are upset about the increase in the taxes, said the fat controller. But money is tight here, and I'm sorry to say, but I cannot accept the protest. If you will not comply with the new increased tax rates, then I will send Thomas to the sheds. He has been doing an excellent job of making sure that everyone on the island has been paying their taxes. Ha! What is little old Thomas going to do to us? Sneered Gordon. We will not leave the sheds until we fight for what we think is right. Yeah, what he said. Hee <laughs> hee! The fat controller walked away with the big engine still fussing. A moment later, Thomas puffed in. <laughs> Oh dear, puffed Thomas. It seems that you haven't been paying your taxes. And we're not going to pay until the price is lowered. Hmm, what a shame, said Thomas. It seems I will have to show you my great powers. What powers? sniffed Henry. This. No! What, what did you do? exclaimed Gordon the big engine. I turned him into a marketable plushie. Or in this case, a marketable figurine. And this is the same fate that you two will suffer if you don't pay your taxes. So here's how this is going to go. You can either pay your taxes now, and I'll turn James back to normal. Or you can suffer the same fate as him. Fine, we'll pay her taxes, just turn James back to normal, surrendered Henry. Splendid, said Thomas. I, I'm alive! Yes, now about that money. Oh, r right. And so, the big engines paid Thomas his taxes. And there was no more trouble on the island of Sodor ever again.